A very warm welcome to our Friday Bulletin. I am Sergeant Doreen Kerubo. The KDF Bulletin is a show to keep you updated on events undertaken by the Ministry of Defence over the week. In our highlights tonight, CS Duale commits to make Kenya Meat Commission competitive and more profitable. PS Defence signs the Kenya Defence Forces Public-Private Partnerships Housing Project. Best performing students at Laikipia Air Base Primary School receive awards for excelling in national exams. And in sports, Kenya Defence Forces selects team for the upcoming National Cross Country Championship. To start us off, we start in Athi River, where Honorable Aiden Duale, the Cabinet Secretary for Defence, signed a performance contract between Kenya Meat Commission and the Ministry of Defence. The signing of the performance contract was done during a tour of the facility, where the Ministry officials were taken through a guided tour to familiarise themselves with the operational capacity and capability of the Kenya Meat Commission in Athi River. It has been three years since the factory was placed under the Ministry of Defence, and more than 50,000 herds of life livestock slaughtered, translating to over 2 billion shillings paid to farmers spread across 37 counties. During the signing of the performance contract, the Cabinet Secretary underscored the commitment of the Ministry of Defence to transforming the Kenya Meat Commission with a view of making it more vibrant and competitive producer of quality meat and meat products not only in the country but also in the region and beyond. Honorable Duale applauded the Kenya Meat Commission leadership for turning around the facility of a short span and highlighted that more needs to be done to boost farmers' confidence in the facility. Myself and the team here, and uh, General Francis Ogola, all the way to the president, we, it is our business to transform this factory. This factory is a factory that majority, over 20 counties, solely their economy depends on livestock. The move to make Kenya Meat Commission a profitable institution is in line with His Excellency Dr. William Ruto, the President of Republic of Kenya and Commander-in-Chief of Kenya Defense Forces resolved to transform the agricultural sector, both on crop and livestock production, to improve the fortunes of farmers across the country. Mr. Patrick Mariru, the Principal Secretary for Defence, and his counterpart, Mr. Harry Kim Tai, from the State Department for Medical Services, signed a Memorandum of Understanding between the Ministry of Defence and the Kenya Medical Research Institute, also known as KEMRI, to enhance cross-collaboration between the two government institutions. The MOU is a 10-year pact that shall enable the Ministry and KEMRI to collaborate in several avenues, including research, educational programs, capacity development, national emergencies, security as well as personnel exchange. Moving on, this week Canada's Ambassador for Women, Peace and Security, Her Excellency Jacqueline O'Neill, delivered a lecture of opportunity to students at the National Defence College here in Nairobi. The Ambassador's lecture centred on the role of women and their contribution to peace and security in the ever-changing security landscape. Her Excellency O'Neill noted that women and children are the most affected during conflicts and that despite this challenge, women play a critical role and such should be involved in policy and decision-making organs in key security infrastructure. During her visit, the ambassador was received by the college commandant, Major General Rashid Elmi, alongside other senior directing staff. The National Defence College is a premier centre of excellence mandated to prepare, select senior military officers and equivalent civil servants from Kenya and other allied countries for higher responsibilities in the direction and management of security and other related areas of public policy. Honorable Aidan Duale, the Cabinet Secretary for Defence, has assured the Kenya Airport Authority of the steadfast support of the Ministry of Defence in the refurbishment of Garissa Airstrip. The CSA that the Ministry will offer technical support and also deploy sufficient security personnel in the airstrip whose works have already started. In the company of Mr. Patrick Mariru, the Principal Secretary for Defence and other senior officials, the CS pointed out that the contractor is already on ground and the project shall take place in three phases. The first phase will entail the construction of a perimeter wall around the airstrip and the expansion of the runway from the current 1.2 kilometers to 1.4 kilometers. Honorable Duale also observed that this is the first time the airstrip will receive such level of renovation since it was established in 1984. 
The refurbishment is meant to enable Garissa airstrip accommodate more aircraft and is the transport of goods and people. Mr. Patrick Mariru, the Defence Principal Secretary, and Mr. Hu Dongpo, the Director of China Railway Engineering Group, this week signed a housing agreement contract dubbed KDF Public-Private Partnership Housing Project. The agreement is a joint collaboration between the Ministry of Defence and the China Railway Engineering Group, which intends to construct residential accommodation and associated support facilities across five sites. The project will provide affordable housing across Roisambu, Nanyuki, Gilgil, Lan net and Nyali regions in line with the government's intent of curbing the shortage of housing for military personnel. We shift gear to education matters, where Lake Upia Air Base Commander Brigadier Mohamud Farah led an award ceremony at Lake Upia Air Base Primary School for the top performers in the 2023 Kenya Certificate of Primary Education. A total of 12 students scored above 400 marks, with the leading students scoring 417. This saw the school top the list of all Kenya Defence Forces sponsored schools with a mean score of 360 marks. In his remarks, the base commander noted that the Kenya Defence Forces remains steadfast in supporting education as he shared his pride at the school's good performance. During the event, Brigadier Farah also received a comprehensive brief of the status of the school from the headmistress, Mrs. Lois Simam. The two discussed ways in which Laikipia Air Base could support the school in order to further improve the performance. The best performing students were awarded with shopping vouchers as they reported to their various high schools. Moving on, Kenya Army troops serving in Bodei Lamu County under Operation Amani Boni distributed clean drinking water to over 70 households located along the Lapset Corridor and handed over a renovated football pitch to Bodei Majengo community. The renovation of the football pitch, which was done by the 4th Field Squadron, 10 Engineers Battalion, is set to offer a platform for youth in the area to develop their sporting talents. Major Paul Orenga, the officer commanding the squadron, thanked the community for their continued support noting that the success of the lab set would benefit the locals now and in the future. And in sports, the Kenya Defence Forces has formed a team that will compete at the National Cross Country Championships slated for March this year. A total of 28 athletes made the cut during the 43rd edition of the Kenya Defence Forces Cross Country Championship that were held at the Ulinzi Sports Complex here in Nairobi. In the championship that was presided over by the Chief of the Defence Forces, General Francis Ogola, athletes drawn from the three services came out to fight for a slot in the team. Take a look. In the men's 10 kilometer, Lance Corporal Peter Mwaniki, representing 4th Brigade, crossed the tape at a time of 29 minutes 51 seconds. Lance Corporal Dismas Lokira of Lanet finished a close second, with Private Daniel Mungut of Isiolo finishing third. <laughs> Senior Private Winnie Boynet from Isiolo team emerged victorious in the women's category, crossing the line in a time of 3 minutes 25 seconds. Her teammate, Private Cynthia Chepngeno and Ghana Diana Chepkoreira of Mbakasi finished in second and third position respectively. Lastly, in the mixed relay category, Kahawa team emerged victorious. In the men's category, Nanyuki emerged as the overall winning team followed by Laikipia Airbase with Kahawa finishing third. Isiolo won the women's category, Kahawa and Thika finished second and third respectively. I wish to congratulate all the athletes for the excellent performance and high level of sportsmanship which we have just witnessed. The tremendous improvement in performance, both individual and team level, should enable us to perform better in the upcoming National Cross Country Championship. A spirited final encounter between Kenya Navy Base Mtongwe and Manda men teams marked the climax of the Kenya Navy Inter-Units Volleyball Competition held at Kenya Navy Base Mtongwe in Mombasa. In the highly competitive game, Kenya Navy Base Mtongwe men won three sets to two against Kenya Navy Base Manda, while in the ladies' category, Kenya Naval Training College emerged winners, while Kenya Navy Base Mtongwe secured the runners-up position.
The competing teams were drawn from various Kenya Navy formations and units that include Kenya Navy Fleet, Kenya Navy Base Mutongwe, Kenya Navy Base Manda, Kenya Naval Training College and Maritime Surveillance Squadron. <laughs> from the tournament, Kenya Navy now has a formidable team that will battle it out in the Chief of Defense Forces Cup Volleyball Challenge, slated for later this month. While addressing the teams during the competition, Commander Kenya Navy Fleet Brigadier Sankale Kiswa congratulated the selected teams for exhibiting their best skills and qualifying to represent Kenya Navy in the CDF Bora Cup Volleyball Challenge. He urged them to go the extra mile to bring home the trophy. Thank you for watching. We look forward to your feedback via our official social media handles and your viewership next Friday for the KDF Friday Bulletin. I am Sergeant Doreen Kerubo. Goodbye.